Hi everyone, this is July the 9th, 2018, and uh, this is my follow-up on, my monthly follow-up on my C60 use. First of all, I want to put out this, put in this disclaimer, this video is from my personal experience only and should not be taken as medical advice. I'm not a medical professional and I offer this uh, for entertainment purposes only. This is just my experience. So before you do any purchase of C60, do your own research. All right, with that, I have increased my intake to two teaspoons a day. I'll take a teaspoon in the morning and a teaspoon in the evening. Now, with that, I wanna caution you on one thing. If you're taking C60 in the evening for some people, because this can be a little bit of a stimulant, it can be too much, may make it hard for you to fall asleep when bedtime comes. So if you have trouble going to sleep, you might want to take it uh, earlier in the day if you choose to take the dosage, the, the two taste, teaspoons like I'm doing. But uh, with me, it doesn't bother me, so I don't have any problems sleeping. So I, you know, I haven't noticed any difference, any adverse effect by taking a teaspoon in the evening. One thing I have noticed uh, when I up the dosage is I'm not hungry. My hunger has fallen off. Uh, I, I'm going to say significantly because it's fallen off enough that I've noticed it. So what I do, I still eat a normal breakfast, which is not a large breakfast, by the way, but I do eat breakfast every day. And I eat uh, a lunch. Lunch is sometimes, a lot of days, it's my biggest meal. And I don't eat a lot then. But one of the things that I've noticed is I have less craving for meat. Now, I don't know why that is, but there are many times at lunch that I won't eat any meat. I eat a salad every day and a few vegetables with that. I added with that. So that's my my main deal. I'm not a, a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. I do eat meat, but I'm just not that hungry for it. So I'm trying to pay attention to what I am hungry for and at least eat a little bit healthier. Now, one of the things I wanted to cover in this video as well is I've got some new tools that I put together or purchased uh, for taking the C60. This is the bottle. You can see that. This is the bottle that I get. This is uh, from C60 Purple Power. And uh, just FYI, there are links below this video from several different manufacturers um, and I've tried pretty much from all of them uh, and I you know I don't have any one manufacturer one supplier that I get this from but with this the uh, this eight ounce bottle I decided I was going to instead of pouring in into a spoon and you know how you pour medicine or something into a spoon unless it's really thick you know, you have a tendency to spill it all over the place before you ever get it in your mouth. And I decided I wanted something a little bit more, a little better that I could measure with. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I purchased this uh, medicine uh, syringe, if, if you will. So it's not, it doesn't have a needle, it's just a medicine syringe. And I've seen those before and, and then I had to experiment a little bit to see how to use it with the bottle. So I came up with a straw so I can take this straw. And it just so happens that this straw fits right on the end of this uh, medicine syringe right here. So that I can stick this down in the bottle and then draw it up to the level that I want. And there's a graduator here. So I bring the the liquid up, if you can see it right there, I'll bring it up to one teaspoon so that I'm taking, I'm pretty sure that, they, you know, that's right at a teaspoon. So I'm getting real close. 
that's one teaspoon or five milliliters. And this thing makes it pretty handy to do so. So all I do when I get through with this is I just rinse these off with water, uh, rinse them pretty good, and then I've got a little towel that I lay them on beside my sink, and I'm ready for the next day. So that makes it pretty easy for me and keeps me from uh, wasting this because this stuff, this stuff is not inexpensive. It's, it's uh, uh, I think this, this bottle right here is a little less than, than $200. So, you know, it's not cheap. Last for a while. Now, one other thing that I have just started doing, and just started this weekend because I had, I heard someone mention it just he just mentioned that it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to take one day off and not take the c60 and i decided okay well i'm going to do it a little different i'm going to take two days off so on the weekend i don't take the c60 or the vitamins i got a little vitamin pack some high quality vitamins that i take and i've been taking those for a number of years but i decided i'm going to try this and taking the C60 and the vitamins Monday through Friday, and then on the weekends, uh, I don't take either one of them. And I'm just going to see how that goes. So, in a future video, I'll let you know, you know, if I see any change or how that's going, and uh, let you know of any other changes that I do. So, with that, I appreciate you watching this, and talk to you later.